Welcome to EUC Trailer 2.0. <laughs> Thanks for coming to our channel, EUC Family, where you find out what it's like to live a life with an EUC, as well as maybe a young family. And this has been a vital part of that, our trailer. So let me tell you a little bit more about how this works, but first we'll show you how it sets up. And it breaks down very nicely into something that is portable, easy to uh, throw on the back of a car, and really it's just a bunch of pin connectors. So I'll let you speed this next part up in the video as I basically put this back together. I'll do it. So about a year ago, I sold my car and started riding micro mobility. And this is a huge part of that as it's really enhanced the whole experience. And so this is my main source of transportation, the InMotion B13. It's a very reliable beast and a powerhouse. And this is the co-pilot. But used, kind of worked out that way, but it's actually an awesome hookup and together this works very well. So let me show you how we hook it up. Nothing here is fancy. I didn't actually change or modify to make this work. It's just standard bike trailer, standard B13. I took off the little knob so that I could wrap it around this main bar. Now it's wrapped around. And then I'm going to wrap it around the secondary bar by pulling it under here and over. This is a little tricky on my hands but now pulled it through, over, under, and then I'm gonna hook it to this. Usually it's supposed to hook here, but my spring has broken, and I found if I hook it right here, it's actually more secure. So that is that. Now to make it another step extra, I'm gonna wrap around uh, this. I'm gonna put this in here and wrap this around the bar to give it Another point of being locked in. Okay. Oh, the hooks, the hook in the back is wrapped around the bar. Yes, this is back hooked around the bar. So that's actually metal against metal here. Yeah. And then the strap is here and this is very tight. You yeah. might clamp it down with like a pliers. Okay. But it's actually not moving at all. A couple points about the EEC trailer. And this is my 2.0 version is I've had one year of using an EUC as my main source of transportation. It's great, gets me super far, but there's times where you need some extra cargo space. I mean, that's where this trailer comes in perfectly. It's very portable. It unfolds and sets up, as you've seen, but why use it? Personally, I've had daddy's days, but I don't want to take the minivan to go to certain nearby places. I just want to take my kids out and let my wife maybe use the car too. So. When you only have one car as a family, it's important that you leave that car available, which is why I've been using the trailer for Daddy's Day and I don't own a car. Also, I use it for Uber trips, which has been fantastic. If I have at uh, one time five pizzas or double orders or something like that, it's great to have it off of your back, out of your hands and into something that you can tug along with you. Also coming to parks, it's a perfect use. So that's been like the main things as a family that I've used it for. Some of the lessons that I've learned when using my first trailer to this one is I got a lot of flat tires on the Allen trailer. I think it was partly because the wheels were smaller and it couldn't handle that uh, range, stress. So I got maybe six flat tires out of those two. I had to replace them three times. And the bigger width of the tire seems to have solved that problem. So previously 16 inches, now it's a 20 inch wheel and it's doing much better. I also think that this bigger uh, trailer is giving more space to the kids, more space for equipment. And it's also able to carry heavier loads, right? I've carried about a hundred pounds of groceries in there and tugged it for a distance and it handled superbly. I'd also say that heavier wheels have been more stable. Comparing my S18 with the trailer to the B13, which is 120 pounds versus 40 pounds, it's a lot more stable on the wheel, on carrying things. It just, it doesn't feel as shaky. Certain brands I found were shaky. I can't say the exact one. I know currently I have Copilot and previously Allen worked better, 
but I think that certain brands you'll find won't work. So make sure you have a good return policy on those in case where it's not pushing right on the electric unicycle so that you can try to find a brand that does work for yours. All right, I'm gonna go through some of the best use cases. For me, kids, this has been my primary use of this trailer and equipment as well. So once the kids are playing at the park, they're ready to take off all their gear, just need somewhere to put it, put it in one spot, the trailer is where it all goes. It also doubles as a stroller. So the M10 4 can fold up and fit behind them and I could tug it, or you could pull that M10 4 out, push the stroller with the unicycle. Basically, you have a motorized stroller and people don't look at you crazy. They actually look at you like you're doing something amazing. So I've taken that specifically into malls, outdoor malls, including into Apple stores, H&M, all kinds of stores in the malls and I just push the stroller through on top of my unicycle and people don't even mind. I even ask security at Apple and they're like, yeah, come on in. I think, I don't know, that's crazy to me. <laughs> Last point is, is it safe? Yes, I give it safety, but beware. You need to know the limits of this. So know the limits of the trailer and your skill, right? So the trailers have a limit maybe of about 20 miles per hour. And I mean, that's if your skill allows it, right? Past 20 miles an hour is gonna maybe start to get wobbly or shaky, but you really shouldn't be going any faster than that. So I would suggest keeping 20 miles as your max speed, and then also be very aware of declines. When you have a decline, it feels that the weight of the trailer seems to push on you and will steer you in the wrong direction. So I have trouble with declines, take those slow, but inclines are fine. I mean, as long as your unicycle can pull you up in the weight, it's not a problem. Declines, it tends to push on you. That's about it. Otherwise, I've only had one crash, a kind of serious one where it tipped over and the kids did get a little hurt. So uh, be careful with curbs. You don't want to bump a curb as you're coming through turns. Uh, make sure it's kind of flat on both sides so one wheel doesn't get jarred up. But other than that, it's been phenomenal. EUC trailer, I give it a thumbs up.